All right, is everybody ready to see what I actually look like right now? A bit of reality for you. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I need to shower and rinse off this fake tan I did last night. Layla's obviously very sleepy this morning. But I, you know, was about to shower and get ready and I was like, let me just show what, you know, the reality of this is. Just to remind you, because I don't often see people in like their rawest form on YouTube anymore. So anyway, this is what I currently look like. I desperately need to wash my hair and wash off this tan. It's a little, it's a little alarming. So let's do that first and foremost. But hi, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Whew, okay, we are showered, got the hair dried. It definitely took longer than usual. This is my first time washing it since I got my extensions. So hi, hello, good morning. How is everyone doing? It's actually not morning here, it's like 1 p.m. <laughs> I've been doing some computer work today and now I'm getting ready and I'm heading to downtown LA because I'm actually doing a photo shoot today. I decided to just go for it for a little bit of a rebrand for my channels. Um, I haven't taken photos. Well. I don't take professional photos like ever, but I haven't changed up the branding of like either of my channels since like 2021, I think. So it's time. I got some really cute banners made recently. So I'm gonna take some cute photos to go with it. Cause why not? And also just for fun. So my friend Macy Eleni on YouTube and TikTok or Blazed and Glazed as you all may know her. She has a really good friend who takes amazing photos. So I reached out to her and I was like, hi, would you wanna take my photos? And she was like, absolutely. She's been so sweet. And I almost had to reschedule it. Um, um, because the other day, this was like two or three days ago, I started feeling like I was getting a scratchy throat and it was terrifying. And I was like, oh no, I'm getting sick, what's going on? And then like later that day, I was completely fine. And since then I've been completely fine. So I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was just like allergies or what, but I mean, I'm not sick. So the show must go on. So I'm gonna do like a little bit more makeup than I normally would, but I kind of have just like one makeup routine. <laughs> So I'm actually, you know, as usual, running a little bit late. I have like about an hour until I absolutely have to leave, but I have a lot of stuff to do before then. I need to pick out some outfits or just sort of finalize because I'm doing, I think, two different looks just because I feel like it. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do my hair for the first time since getting my extensions. Um, the person who did my extensions styled them like when I first got them done, but I haven't styled them on my own yet. So that'll be interesting. We'll see what they kind of look like. It's always different when you do your own hair. As opposed to someone else doing it for you and I was trying to go as long as possible without washing it so I think I went like four days. I also need to find time to either like make or pick up some lunch or something on the way because I definitely am nearing lunch time so we'll see about that and <sighs> Then tonight I have a girls night with one of my best friends, Laura. We haven't caught up in a while. She was out of town for a bit, so it'll be fun to see her catch up. I think we might go to a wine bar. So it'll be really fun. I'm very excited. Fun little Friday. Oh my gosh, earlier, by the way, I was taking a little break and I was watching some YouTube videos and I watched some videos from Chats and Reacts. I've talked about them before, I think. Pretty sure I have, but they are like a reaction channel and they mostly focus on like Taylor Swift content, but they do some other stuff. Stuff. And this morning I watched their hits different reaction and I literally cried. <laughs> I was crying when they were reacting to it. I just love Taylor Swift so much. And it's just like something that you love so deeply and have loved for so long. And then watching someone else love it so deeply and like react as uh, intensely as you do and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just adore them. I want to be their friends very badly, so. Definitely recommend if you're a Swifty to check out their channel. Sorry about my squeaky makeup drawers, they're plastic. So I'll link their channel down below, but yeah, ugh, love them. And now Hits Different is stuck in my head and I cannot stop singing it. All right, we are gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna do my little DIY lash extensions. I'm gonna try to curl my hair and then we will pick out some outfits for this shoot. All right, gotten ourselves all ready. I just stepped on something or dropped something. Here is what the hair is looking like. It's actually looking really good. Like it looks a lot more filled in in the front here and I like it styled like this a lot better. So cute. Very happy with it. I have on a cute sweatsuit that you guys will see in a main channel video coming up soon. I just packed my makeup bag that I'm gonna take with me. I put on all of my accessories 
accessories because like one less thing to do when I get there. I got a full water. My phone's all charged up. Now let's look at these um, outfit options because basically I think I have an idea. I'm just trying to like finalize it and I need to pack up. All right, here's what I've come up with. So I actually have both of these things from Eloquy. I bought these like over a year ago and haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet. So I have this like two piece checkered set. This is like a little blazer and then this is like a matching short. So I thought I would bring like a black tank top to wear underneath, like something dark and something light. That was Drew's input. So we have this look and then we also have my super cute, I call this my fairy dress. I have not gotten a chance to wear this and this is kind of like a, you know, selkie dupe type of dress and it's just so pretty. So I thought actually both of these would go really well with just a pair of black cowboy boots. So I think that's what I'm gonna bring. So I have like the same accessories for both. I'm pretty much gonna wear like the same hair. We have my go-to bag <laughs> that I will put everything in. As per usual, I need to leave like pretty soon here. So I'm gonna pack up these boots. I just didn't really wanna show up in either of these outfits. We have my anti-chafing shorts, very important. We got the tank top to go underneath. We got the makeup bag with like hairspray and a hairbrush in there too in case I need it. We got the suit. Listen, I know you're supposed to have these things like steamed and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm just not that kind of gal, I'm so sorry. And then we have the fairy dress, so there we go. Gonna throw on my sunglasses. I haven't done any lips yet because I actually need to like eat a little snack on the way. So here we go, we are ready. And here is my outfit of the day. This set is from 30 Years, which is Katie or Luster Lux like clothing brand. I did a main channel video where I reviewed a few YouTuber clothing lines. Um, That'll be coming up soon, but yeah, love this one. Got the sunglasses, got the Ugg slippers, just because I want something that's easy to take on and off and we're gonna hit the road and head downtown. So let's do it. All right, made it in the car. I'm actually still like 25 minutes away. The traffic is crazy. And luckily the photographer, Amy, she messaged me and was like, hey, I'm stuck in traffic by the way. And it's gonna be a minute. And I was like, oh my God, perfect. Cause me too. And I love how maps like always tells you, oh, do this and you'll save two minutes. No, I just added three minutes onto my time. So I just never do that. Anyways, I've been listening to Hits Different and I can't stop listening to it. Like it's been months at this point and I just need to know if anyone else is in the same boat like it just reminds me so much of earlier Taylor and I love it I just scarfed down a granola bar and a banana because I didn't have time to make myself lunch before I left but luckily when I meet up with Laura later we're gonna get some food together just like a quick dinner and yeah I'm just like driving through I'm on my way to this photo shoot that I'm just doing for fun and then going out for wine with one of my good friends tonight and I just am feeling like really grateful and I hope that you all are able to do things in your life that just fill your cup and make you happy and hang out with people that you love and you know carve out time for yourself and be able to do things that go ahead and be able to do things you're welcome <laughs> do things that like bring you a lot of joy you know things that spark joy if you will these houses are really cute around here anyways okay we'll check in in a bit when we're at the studio when we're shooting it's gonna be so fun Macy will be there too she's gonna stop by and hang out I think maybe take some photos as well so it's gonna be a great time let's do it Look who arrived, my stage mom. Yes, I <laughs> she's here to direct. I my to. stage dad and my stage son, or I guess my brother. Amy's freaking pants. Don't let me, so far, it looks great. Amy's freaking pants. Should I like smile, should I smile, should I serve? Give me a look, yeah, give me a serve. Oh, okay, I'll try. Serve. Okay, let's get a sleigh. Like, oh my god. Stop. This hair Stop. color, this new hair color is really it. It's a new era, right? I mean, I'm feeling it. We both like, I love it. Yeah, that's a third. Stop. Carrie looks so hot and beautiful. I mean, ethereal queen. When I walked in, I was like, who the fuck is that? Oh my God, yes, I see it. Right? The dress is like just laying so perfectly. 
so oh good. That's all you. Because I just know some I of like the shit you guys are doing on the stool. It was like, oh yeah. Control. I'm like, control. you're like, slay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you actually? I don't know that. Not me. I mean, that was like over ten years ago. Not a, not with this back, right? Not, yeah. Not <laughs> Your thirties are magical. Oh so much better. I'm very much so enjoying them over my twenties. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it only gets better too. It very only gets better. I'm feeling like not No. You I you literally could not pay me to go back to my twenties. Alright, just finished up the shoot. It was so much fun. Like seriously, such a blast. I loved meeting Amy. She was so sweet. I have never felt more hyped up in my entire life. It was just so much fun. Like I love, it just felt like girlies getting together, I don't know, to take photos from MySpace or something. Do you know what I mean? So anyways, now I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna change, I think, maybe? I might wear this, honestly, we'll see. And have a fun little wine night so I can like Uber from my place, have a fun little girls night and get some dinner. So let's do it. All right, made it home, did a quick change, threw on a different lip gloss. What is that? Oh, my strap of my shirt. And here's my outfit of the night. We're doing like a elevated casual because we obviously had to confer with each other and be like, what are we wearing? So here's what I came up with. Here we have it. We have this knit bodysuit from Abercrombie and I just tucked it into these pants that I have from H&M. They're like my go-to. I wear these like wide leg sort of trousers because they're way more comfortable than jeans. They're so comfy. And then we have my leather jacket. I think this is thrifted. I don't honestly remember where I got this or maybe it's from Target. Then we have my white little baby boots. They're kind of like a mini cowboy boot, if you will. So here is the look. Just thought a little pop of white would be good, but I tell you what, I am more aware now than ever that I desperately need like a black boot, like a go-to black boot, because I never used to like go out for literally years. And the ones that I have just don't go with this. They're not like dressy enough. So that's gonna be on my list of something to thrift for sure. But yeah, we're gonna call the Uber and then head to dinner. Let's do it. <laughs> We must. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I survived. I made it. I'm alive. It is 1.30 p.m. I got home at, what time did I get home last night? Like 10.30? Uh, yeah. Got home, okay. We just have to tell the story. First of all, where's my, where's that present, babe? So, I don't, this is funny to me. You may not think it's funny, but one of my best friends, Laura, who I went out with last night, um, she gave me like a belated birthday present. She had been waiting for one of my presents to come and then it got canceled or something like that. So she ended up just like getting me something small. The first of it being, she got me a gift card to Alfred and then she lost the gift card to Alfred. So then she had to buy another one. <laughs> she had to buy it like online. So she gave me the piece of paper with like the gift card on it. And then, hold on. She was walking to meet me last night um, at the place that we got dinner and she accidentally dropped the, bless you. She accidentally dropped the bag with my present in it, so it broke. So she got me a mug that says, just an old hoe carrying on, which is phenomenal. Um, but the handle like completely broke off. So Drew's gonna glue it back together. And what I think we're gonna do is maybe just like put a plant in it just to keep it intact. But like, how funny is that? So there was like this whole, she was so upset. She said she like called her husband and was like, I do up your bread. <laughs> like it was just a nightmare for her to get me this present, right? So we finished up at the wine bar at like 10, 10.30, something like that. I got in an Uber home. As soon as I got home, I was like talking to Drew. I was like drunk off three glasses of wine, just being silly. And I get a phone call when I get inside from the Uber driver. And I'm like, what? And he's like, hi, um, did you leave a bag in my car? And I was like, oh yeah, sorry, I left the present in the car. So I walked back outside and met him, got the bag. I was like, thank you so much. He was like, have a good night, got inside. <laughs> 
And then I got an email from Uber. I'll just put it right here. And it was basically like, our driver missed out on going on a drive with other people. This was literally a four minute ordeal, but either way. Um, so we've charged you $20 for a returned item fee. And it was just, <laughs> this present, this present was just, doomed from the start and so I texted Laura this morning and told her what happened she replied and she was like worst birthday present ever so I had to pay an extra $20 anyways it's fine it's like that's the policy whatever but it was just freaking hilarious so yeah laid in bed this morning well I mean I, I got up at like 4 a.m for some reason I don't remember why I think I had to pee or something couldn't fall back asleep then knew I had to take Layla out around 7 so I stayed up until 7 let her out and then I fell back asleep for like two hours and I've been in bed most of the day. You know, if you're in your 30s, you fully understand the hangover after having literally three glasses of wine over the course of six hours. Like, <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. So, we're gonna get some steps in. It's a beautiful day outside. We're gonna get some sunshine. And I'm going to put my, maybe my hokas on, hello. I'm trying to balance you here. It's nice and sunny and beautiful. So we're gonna take advantage of it. Maybe walk to like a park. We've already had like coffee and all that today, but we'll just, you know, walk and chat. And then when we get home, it is Love Island time. It is time to binge on some Love Island and I cannot freaking wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it all day pretty much. All right, I think I'm gonna grab my little fanny pack or some people call it a bum bum bag. bag is that what they call it in the uk and like i think canada maybe or maybe even parts of the us because i think fanny is like a bad word isn't it fanny or front in other countries is fanny a bad word or just kind of like a less pleasant word i thought it was so funny that i first learned that this is like a bad thing in the uk and like us if you're in the us you understand this was our childhood <laughs> this was just like the the myspace I think it's like this or this is bad, but this is okay from what I understand. Anyways, so if you're in the UK, this one's for you. Just kidding. Like this is bad here, bad, quote unquote, but it doesn't, it's not offensive to do this here. But I think that this is like a bad thing where they go like this, which I always think is so funny, like watching UK shows and it's like an old man and he'll be like, <laughs> it's like that means nothing here. Anyway, okay. Let's pack up this bag. I'm gonna bring some chapstick, obviously. I think that's already in here. I'm gonna bring my phone. I'm gonna bring some water. Off we go on a hot girl walk. TikTok said that that's cringy to say that now. I don't care. I simply don't have the time. So we're going on a hot girl walk. You ready? We're walking. We're walking, let's do it. So um, were any of y'all gonna tell me that my leggings were on backwards? None of you were gonna say anything? Drew was like, oh, I thought that was supposed to be like that. No, they're on backwards, so. Okay, let's fix these and then we'll go. 